Hi everyone, it's Blythe to Life. I am Tanya and I got this box today. I had a busy day so I haven't had time to open it until now. Um, but this is another life. Of course it's a fake life. I haven't ordered from this um, shop on AliExpress before. And I see they added an adorable little dress. The little strap doesn't want to stay up, but that's okay. But oh, that's, oh, it's cute. I'll try it on her when we, um, it's got like a satiny, I guess, the black. And it's got like a, I don't know what that is, what, what you would call that. It's got a little tag. Here's what's on the tag. That's interesting. Um, all of AliExpress is copycat, right? Or is any of it authentic Blythe? Anyway, I really like the dress. It is pink, or it's got pink, is that rickrack? Is that what that's called? I think I heard my mom call it that or something. And then it's got, I think this is black. I'm in under lamp lighting because it's kind of late this year. And then this is white. The middle part is white with black polka dots and the rest of the dress is black with white polka dots. And then there's a black and white bow at the top, which is actually really cute. I like that. Now, I saw Beth, and I can't remember her last name on her channel, but I'm sure you all know who I'm talking about. She had opened a transparent life, a, a real transparent life. Let's get rid of that. And I thought, or, you know, I, I've seen the transparent life before, and it's, um, oh, Okay, so Beth had one, and I had n never seen a transparent in, not in person, but I mean like in a video. And I uh, thought, you know, oh, she's really unique, really interesting. And I think I've seen faces previously um, as well, but I didn't. You know, I was thinking like transparent, see-through, why would you want a see-through doll kind of thing, and so I just passed. Um, but now you can't find the faces anywhere, although now that I think about it, it's like, well, if I want a face, I'm also going to have to have a scalp, <laughs> and that's kind of like hard to find as well. So I did find a seller though on Etsy that had the face, but then I also got to thinking I need the scalp, and they didn't have the scalp in stock, so I ended up canceling my order for the face. Oh, this body is weird. She can't even, like, sorry, I'm, I'm, I've got her over here. I wonder if I can fix. I didn't realize. Hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to fix the lighting. She looks really yellow on my camera, but she's not that yellow. I might have to do another video in, um, in the daytime. This eyelash is really, really messed up compared to the other. Look at that. Um, but that's fine because we're gonna take it, take them out anyway. Um, but you can't see through, um, her face at all. Um, she is a bit more, I don't know, yellowy, I guess? I don't know. I I wish I would have opened her in daytime. <laughs> so I'll have to um, come back. But her body is, like, rubbery. I'm guessing this is similar to the actual. I mean, she does say Blythe TM on the back of the head. And it says Hasbro Inc. 2006. Um, Tomi, China. 
here has a copyright CWC on it. I don't know if that shows up at all. My camera says nope. Doesn't want to do it. I'm using what they call the pancake lens right now. Um, even her back says the same thing. Um, which I've never seen before on the back of the head or the body. Because I buy factory blights. But this is from AliExpress. So, uh, so this would be a knockoff as well, right? Like they just copied the back of the head. I don't. I mean, I've seen some in boxes for like 700, 500 Canadian on there, and it's like, whoa. You know, if I want, if I, not that I want, if I could afford, I should say, and uh, uh, legit, I would buy it from Juni Moon in Japan. <laughs> but I cannot afford it, sadly. Um, so, anyhow, I would like one for Christmas. I'm, I've been kind of hinting I would like a real Blythe for Christmas. So, we'll see. Uh, my husband wouldn't know what to get anyway. Mm, but I keep looking like on Sendico, hoping somebody on there will have one for cheap. But I haven't seen one yet. And, oh, but her body's so weird. It's like the old, like, uh, Barbie body, where the legs have, like, that snappy bendy to them. Sorry. Um, there's work going on upstairs. I forgot to mention, um, I think it'll be done soon, and then we won't have to hear any more hammering, which will be so nice. And like I say, it's the evening, so, of course, people are home, and they're working on stuff, so... But her body is, it's kind of like, has a nice glow to it, like even her face. I'm so sorry. I wish I could like change the coloring a bit so you could see like how she actually looks. But it's like a yellow with like a, like a pinky tone or something. I should have brought a screwdriver to pop her head open. But I didn't. But I just, oh man. I love her already, and I was thinking, like, I don't know, I don't think you can get, like, the jointed bodies, so I want to keep this one for myself, just because it's so unique. I did pay, well, she was, like, $50, I think, so more than the other, you know, like, just a regular white-skinned Blythe, um... I usually pay around $30, well not 30 sorry, $35 um, to $40 depending, like usually the white skin are the um, $30, $35. And then if I want like a tan or black skin, they are typically $10 more up to $50. Like this one was $50. I did find a head that was just the head with the eye mechanism, but no eyes was $50 by itself. And no hair, like it had the scalp, but it was bald. And so I got to thinking maybe I could make, oh, let's try the dress on. Maybe I could make a wig, right? Um, I watched like some professional wig makers. It looked easy. Um, I don't, I, you know, I, I'm just saying it looked easy, but I bet it's not once I get to it. But it was a lot of hand stitching. Um, you can, like she showed two different ways, like hand stitching and um, by machine. And I think machine would be harder because you can't really see what you're doing. But by hand, I could definitely do. Oh, I love the dress on her. Now it is a little um, big. Um, on the sides and whatnot, but that being said, I think, like, she's really rubbery. This body is weird. Um, she definitely can't stand on, oh, oh, yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, she definitely can't stand on her own, and then she was, and then she falls backwards. But I don't think I'll be using this body. I don't think I'll be keeping it. Um, I'm planning on 
probably putting her on either the natural or the uh, white body that's jointed. So that way she's not as weird looking. I don't know. I kind of like it, but at the same time, it's weird. So um, I would like to keep this one for myself, though. I like the transparency so far. Um, and then I'll end up putting in another or different neck joint so she can move her head a little better and also change out her eyes, her eyelashes and all that, and her body. And then probably if, if I end up for some reason not keeping her, uh, I would sell her with this body just in case. Uh, so she has like original body as well since she came with one. Um, normally I buy just the face plate and of course the back plate and I customize it then I buy a full doll and um, use that faceplate again but I use the body for the faceplate that I had finished as well as a scalp so yeah let's try her eyes actually I just got to thinking I haven't changed her eyes at all I think these are kind of a yellowy color Let's see if I can find her pull string. Oh, her eyelids were kind of interesting. Did you see that? These are orange eyes. But her eyelids. Oh, those are bright blue. Wow. Oh, is it just me? Or are her eyes, they look bigger? I'm not sure about this. And these are... I think these are the pink ones. I'm under terrible lamp lighting. I don't really know about this. I like those eyes, but I think they're pink. I don't remember seeing any gray. Like usually there's a gray pair. What I've been doing is I've been opening the eyes a bit more on the face plates that I'm customizing and giving them a bit more larger eyes. I think she looks the same as usual, though, as far as appearance goes. Um, she doesn't have eyebrows. I've gotten some faceplates with eyebrows and some without. I can't even tell. I think there's a little bit of, like, eye makeup, but not much. Oh, I would love to open this, but right now I just don't want to make that long of a video. Oh, it's quieted down upstairs. That's so nice. I wonder how long that'll last. But see her eyelids? Like you can see the lashes in there. Now I wonder if I paint them, if you'll still see them. I kind of like this piercing blue. She's kind of freaky, but I like her. Oh, I love her already. Oh, okay, I think I'm gonna have to come back and maybe I will do like a video um, customizing her a little bit. Um, we can have fun carving this. Um, maybe I'll show like up to the light kind of thing because I did have a matte faceplate that I'm working on. And it, I did hear people saying that the matte finish is actually thinner than the glossy. And so it, I, yeah, it is. Um, because I have some that, um, most are glossy. And then I had just one that was matte just because I wanted to try it out. I haven't had any problem with her at all. I, oh, I love her hair, by the way. She is blonde. Curly hair, of course. Just beautiful, beautiful. And I love her face. Um, I can't remember I, if this one's from Blythe Girl. I think that's the shop. Um, or Living Doll. I can't remember what the two living, was it the Living Doll? Um, or Blythe Girl. It's um, without the E. B-L-Y-T-H and then G-I-R-L. Just one word. If that's, you know, 
I always forget which one. I'll have to, tr I'll try my best to put it in the description and we'll see which one in that way. If anyone wants to get one. I mean, I think she was $50 Canadian. Not sure what that would be US, but yeah. And she arrived fairly quickly. She did get stuck in customs for a little while. Um, but I'm so anxious to see her. She did arrive earlier, but I had stuff to do. She's got a bit of a scuff on her head that I see, but we're gonna... It's, it's not that deep. So it should come right out with some sanding. Oh, she's beautiful though. Okay, so I'm... I'm going to sign off of here and I'm going to go compare her to some face plates and I might actually take take her apart. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope you're having a wonderful day.